Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm and today I'm finally going to set up my carry-all. I picked up the lumber that I needed and uh, now I just need to make some room to work in here. The garage is an absolute mess. We still haven't uh, pulled everything out of here that we want to keep out of the farm since we got the shed. And I also have about a half dozen half finished projects out here that uh, are just kind of laying around in different stages of completion. So I'm going to clear this out a little bit, make a little room to work, and then we'll get started on the carry-all. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is cut this lumber down to size. I bought 10 foot lumber for the bottom and the back and I'm going to cut that lumber in half down to 60 inches and then that'll make the uh, cargo box of my carry-all 60 inches wide on the outside. So here we go, cutting them down. I'm going to have to sit on the ground for most of this job because this is too heavy for my workbench and I'm afraid once I add the wood to this I really wouldn't be able to get it off my workbench anyway. So uh, how this is going to come together you can see there are one, two, three, four, five holes on each of these horizontal supports and there are also five holes on each of the vertical supports here. So what I'm going to end up doing is laying down each of these so that the boards are centered. I'm actually going to put my first board on the back that way. Then this one will flush up with it and then each of my other boards will come out from there. And since I'm using the uh, two by sixes, they will line up just fine with each of those holes. If I lay them down here, see if I did my math correctly. Yeah, so they'll be a little off center, and that's okay. Get my last board over here. <clears throat> So those will line up, they'll get one carriage bolt and each of these boards to line up with these holes that are in the frame of the carry-all. So my goal here is that I'll have a wooden box that comes out just a little bit beyond this metal support here. So I have a 2x10 that I'm going to bolt on as my last board and it'll come out to about here, uh, just about an inch or so past the end of this support. So that'll give me a box that's all in all. Um, just over 32 inches deep and uh, I'll have about the same height I'll put some small sides on it and then uh, we'll put some tool racks and some other things on here so we can carry around uh, what we need around the farm so uh, next thing I need to do is mark up where these boards are going to align with the frame on the base here these supports are 32 inches across and of course my boards are 60 inches so 32 and 60 is 28, so I should have 14 inches on each side. Uh, and if I line these up well together, wow, that's right on. And that's right on. So I have these uh, pretty well positioned. Uh, I have these pretty well positioned where they're going to go. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is pre-drill uh, these boards so that they align with the holes in the frame and then I can put my carriage bolts in and I'll be good to go. So let me get my drill out and we'll get moving. Alright I've decided I'm going to go ahead and do the back first since it's already sitting up and after I attach all the back boards I'm going to tilt the carry all on its back and then I'll be able to drill the holes for the bottom boards. So I've measured uh, from the side of the board to the frame here. I've got 14 inches of spacing on each side. So now that I got it in place, I'm just gonna clamp it down and then I'll drill my holes, put on my carriage bolts and I'll move on to the next board. As 
As far as hardware goes, I have two and a half inch galvanized by uh, five sixteenths inch carriage bolts. And uh, I'm just gonna put these on hand tight for now. I'll put on, uh, put on each of the boards here and I'll come back and tighten everything down. I've got my five boards on now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my impact driver and tighten up all of the nuts. Now I can flip this whole thing over on his back and do the same thing for the other boards. Okay, so there's the basic shape, there's the back, there's the bottom, and uh, I could have gone a little taller on the back, but I think it'll be fine for what I need. So next up, I'm going to figure out how to put some sides on this. I was just thinking about how am I going to get sides on this using the materials I have. I don't want to spend any more money on this, and I can already tell just looking around here what I have in the garage. I'm gonna be a little bit short. I'm trying to think about what do I have out at the farm that I could use to put sides on this. And I think I came up with a rather ingenious solution. So let's check the measurements real quick and then we'll go check it out. All right, we come out here on my deck. And right there is my solution, maybe. Let's check the measurements. This gate we put on this deck when uh, our daughter was really small. We didn't want her crawling down those steps, but she's bigger now. And I don't think we really need this gate. We'll check the width first. Oh, 32. We'll check the height. All right, just under 34 high. So the gate right now is a little higher than my carry all but I could put another board on top so I have two of those one for each side they obviously already have hinges on them so I think this will work great take these off put them on carry on yeah Next up, I want to make a rack that can hold the chainsaw. So if it goes on there like that, or spun around like that, need something that'll hold the blade. So I'm going to do them on on the inside. I'm going to do the rack on the inside because I plan on putting some other tool racks for hand tools like shovels and rakes and uh, maybe a rack up above for a weed whacker or something, and that'll all get mounted to the other side of this. So the chainsaw brackets will get mounted here so that the blade can slide in this way. Well, thanks for following along today with this build for this carry-all. I've been looking forward to doing this for months and just finally finding the time to do it. 
So now I've got to haul this back out to the farm. I won't get a chance to do that until I bring my utility trailer home next time. So first time I put this to use, I'll do another video and show you how it works. Thanks for watching today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as well. And you can keep up with all the work that we're doing out on our farm. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. See you later.